Renee, will you marry me? Yes! <laughs> yes? Yes! I, I love you. <laughs> this verse couldn't capture y'all's heart for ministry and your relationship any better. Emma is patient. Josh is kind. Emma does not envy. Josh is not boastful or arrogant. Emma is not rude. Josh is not self-seeking. Emma is not irritable, and Josh does not keep a record of wrongs. Emma finds no joy in unrighteousness, but seeks and rejoices in truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and love never fails. When I went to your parents' house and they asked me, what was the first thing that you thought when you met Emma? I said to your dad, you know, the truth is this, you know there's categories that you put people in when you meet them? I had to create a whole new category for Emma. And it's not so much that you're marrying our son and enlarging our hearts, but truly that you have expanded it much more beyond what we could ever imagine. You're not the woman that I prayed for. You are much more than the woman that I prayed for, for my son. We embrace you not just as our son's wife, but as our daughter, because officially tomorrow, you will be a McDaniel. Josh, here's what I have to tell you. Good luck with those big brown eyes. We rarely can say no, as you will see at this wedding tomorrow. <laughs> but Josh, I will say, we have prayed since the day she was born that a godly man would come along beside her. I agree with Lori in what she said, you are not at all what we prayed for. You're uh, so much more. You've exceeded every expectation that I had. I love the way that you challenge her, that you sharpen her, and you actually, you make her, I didn't think it was possible, but you make Emma a better version of Emma. And that's only God that does that. And I'm more than excited to be again on the front row and be the biggest cheerleader for you, both of you and watch you impact not just a city, not just a state, but the entire world. So raise your glasses and let's give cheers to one of the most impactful couples that I've ever known in my lifetime to Josh and Emma. Little did I know that I had to drive 16 hours to Virginia to find the love of my life that was three minutes down the road. You are my best friend and the love of my life. Your spirit and beauty captivate a room as soon as you walk in. You help grow and challenge me in all the best ways. The past two and a half years have been nothing but short of extraordinary. I promise to never leave you, to love you unconditionally, today, tomorrow, every day, until I die. Oh my word! I love it! Everything about it! Oh my goodness! It's going all the way down. All the way down. <laughs> the Lord is good and faithful and his steadfast love endures forever. And when I think of you, 
I think about the Lord's goodness and His faithfulness and His steadfast love. When I think of you, I think of ways I've been inspired and times I've been encouraged. And I think about how my walk with God has been strengthened through getting to walk beside you. Josh, I'm 100% for you, so insanely proud of you, and totally crazy about you. With a grateful and cheerful heart today, I, Emma Mae Jenkins, from this day forward, promise to daily pursue to have the same mindset as Christ Jesus towards you. I promise to love you unconditionally, to forgive you always, and to never, ever leave you until death do we part. I love you. She made a list of what she wanted in a husband. And I was like, that's a list. (laughs) And she dated one guy before Josh for about 30 minutes and said, yeah, that's not the guy. And then all of a sudden this guy calls me. Josh. He says, can we have breakfast? I want to visit. I said, Cracker Barrel, six o'clock. If he'll make a six o'clock, I know he'll cut the, make the cut for later. And he showed up six o'clock. And I said, look here, buddy, here's the deal. You don't want to date her. I tried to convince him not to date her. I said, she, she's a little different. She's the one that runs down the Walmart aisles and she's going to hug and sing to the cashiers and she's going to help out the cart guy she wears her socks outside her pants she's different bro i said you need to really reconsider what you're getting into because this is a difficult little situation and he said you know i happen to have a list too and emma meets the list i'm so proud to be your dad emma you're the only emma may and I love you with everything I have. I'm so very proud of you. Emma and Josh, never give up. We don't quit. Look around, we don't quit. We love you and we're with you. I now pronounce you man and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put us under. Josh, you may kiss your bride. This wedding, we've known about it for a while now. I think everybody has, okay? I have heard about it for a while. I do want to say that. So. It was about when, a little after they got engaged, they figured out, and they just immediately started dresses, flowers, tables, chairs, everywhere, venue, da 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 da. So I was just like, okay, I guess it's happening. I was sitting every single day, 5,640 days till we get married. Last June, it got to 300, then it's creeping up, 200, every day, 1,700 days till we get married. So now that we are finally here, and we can all celebrate, I think we can all raise our glass and say that it's about damn time. Believe it.